By the way, DJ Charlie Malone's been spinning the IGF soundtrack since 2006. Let's give him a big, lovely, happy round of applause, DJ Charlie Malone. So, so uh, small budgets have had a brilliant year, even in the gaming press. While big budget GameSpot was imploding over integrity issues, independent critic Yahtzee of zero punctuation fame gave, it, gave us snappy reviews. <laughs> gave us snappy reviews and the art of theft. In fact, you'll see some special video sketches from him later tonight during the Choice Awards. But if you'll indulge me for a moment. 14 years ago, Doom 2 came out. It was so good, it felt like someone was sucking on my nipples. Unfortunately, the video game industry has refused to change, and, and, and it still feels like someone is sucking on my nipples. It's not so comfortable anymore. I'm talking to you, Bioshock and Call of Duty. Well, thank goodness for the fresh designs of independent games, which has finally made it feel like the games I play are sucking on something else. The nominees for game design are... Design Innovation Award. Snapshot Adventures, Secret of Bird Island, developed by Large Animal Games, Wade Tinney, Josh Welber, Brad McDonald. Battleships Forever, developed by Word Sim Games, Sean Chan. Fez. Developed by Coco Romi, Bill Fish, Bruno Bedar. World of Goo. Developed by 2D Boy, Ron Carmel, Kyle Gabler. Fret Nice, developed by Pieces Interactive, Mortine Brigamoon, Emil Werner. And the Design of the Year award goes to World of Goo. Mom and Dad, thank you. <laughs> um, I told you so. Games aren't so bad. And I'm just happy everyone here is okay with the fact that we can have careers like this where we have absolutely zero social responsibility and get, like, awesome crap for it. Thank you. This one's all Kyle. He's, he's the, the genius behind the design. Thank you.